What's going on guys? Welcome back to episode of Fishing a Flare. Today, just got off the lake and I wanted to do a quick tip video for you and I'm going to show you my top three ways to organize your soft plastics. Now there's probably a dozen different ways to do it. I have my personal favorite and then I have two other ways that I've used in the past and they'll work and it just kind of depends on the situation. Uh, so I'll start off with my number one favorite and that is to stick them in these big Plano tackle boxes like this. You can see I've labeled it Cross. And so in here, I know I have all my cross. So when you open it up, take a look inside. It's jam-packed, full of baits. It's got all different kinds of brands, different colors, um, and you can organize them in two rows. <clears throat> so you can see I have two of them here, and they both go side by side. So you can get two rows of them. And uh, people ask me how many I can fit. Um, I have I've never counted how many I can fit, but it's a lot. Uh, I can get all my cross for the most part in here, at least the ones I'm gonna use for that day. Uh, and one other quick tip is if you're using big long worms, so let's say you're using like a 12 inch worm and you don't want to, uh, you don't want to put the, like there's not enough space for two. What you can do is you can either run your plastics this way. So run them horizontal. So if that's, you can run them like that. So that way they don't get bent up. Or even if you have really long worms or big swim baits, you can just run one row across the entire way. That way, that's why I like these because they're universal. You can mix it up and do them two different ways and depending on the soft plastic that you're using. So that's my number one way. That's the way I've used for years and I like it a lot. It, it, it seems to keep them more organized and I can grab just one box, throw it in the back of my truck because I know what's in it. My second favorite is sticking them in Ziploc baggies like this. And so what I'll do is I'll grab one of these, I don't know if these are like quart, gallon size, whatever they are, and uh, they're freezer bags. You unzip them you have some worms in them. In that way, they're, they're, you can take a lot more of these than you do those big boxes. So if you have your favorite brand of plastics or if you want craws, if you just want worms, you just grab the bag and go. You don't have to grab a big bulky box and you can stick a lot of these in a big backpack. Um, for shore fishermen, this is probably my number one way to do it because you don't have a big bulky box like I would uh, when I'm fishing out of a boat and you can just grab, so you can grab the plastics. So take some bigger bigger bags and stick your bags in there. Keep your plastics in the bags and um, label them, craws, worms, whatever, and that way you know what you have. And uh, so that's my second way how to organize them. And lastly, I see this more and more often and I don't understand it because personally I don't really like it, um, but it's taking your plastics out of the box and sticking them in to tackle boxes like this. And so you can organize them by uh, style or by color doing it this way, and it's not a bad way. Um, I think it takes up a lot more space than you need to. And I think you you, you run out of space a little easier um, or more often by doing it this way. But if you don't have a ton of tackle and you really just want one box, you know, if you're throwing green pumpkin cross, you can load all your green pumpkin cross into this one box and take it out to the lake uh, to catch fish without taking a big you know a big ziploc or a big box like i just said so there's that's my three top three ways that i've seen um through tournaments through other anglers online tips stuff like that those are my top three ways to organize your soft plastics i get a lot of questions over that um so hopefully this helped and hopefully if you are struggling to organize your plastics this video will help you to decide which way is best for you that's it for today's episode if you enjoyed give that video a like subscribe and leave a comment thanks for watching